devices sending data to or receiving data from Google Cloud. In the context of Internet of Things, you should consider cloud computing as a key technology that will provide you with many benefits, since it's a kind of Internet-based computing, where shared resources, data and information are sent to computers and other devices on demand. In fact, cloud computing is a model for enabling ubiquitous on-demand network access to a shared pool of configurable computing that can be rapidly provisioned and released with minimal management effort. Many companies have started to offer this kind of service, Google among them. Google Cloud Platform is a set of modular cloud-based services that allow you to create anything from simple websites to complex applications. The Google App Engine is a platform for building scalable web applications and mobile backends. App Engine provides you with built-in services and APIs and scales the application automatically in response to the amount of traffic it receives, so you only pay for the resources you use. In this tutorial, you will learn how to combine hardware and software elements to build an IoT system capable of sharing data in Google Cloud by using the Google App Engine. Let's go! First of all, you need the following hardware modules. An Arduino Uno equipped with an Arduino Wi-Fi shield and several sensors or actuators for controlling devices. If complex sensors or actuators are not available, don't worry, you can use some simple electronic components that allow you to build an easy experiment. Find a protoboard, some wires, a temperature sensor, and simply connect all these elements as shown in the Arduino website. What is our goal? To connect the electronic devices to the Arduino platform and save information in the Google Data Store by simply sending HTTP requests. Don't forget that you will need an internet connection and a Google account to do this. Or you can ask a client to get information from the Google Data Store to ensure that everything is running fine. You will therefore need to use some software development environments and follow the steps below. First, download the Arduino IDE and install the Google App Engine API as an Eclipse plugin. You can visit these websites if you need information about how to do this. Next, you should decide the format of the messages that will be sent to the cloud. As you want temperature information to be remotely stored, you need to send two datasets, temperature in degrees Celsius and a timestamp. Write the Arduino program that allows you to acquire this information and send it by means of HTTP requests to the Java servlets that comprise the Google app. When you code your Google Web app with Eclipse, you need to implement two servlets, one for storing the data sent by the Arduino and the other for retrieving the information stored in the data store. Once the app has been implemented, Test it by using the local host, and if everything is OK, deploy it. Follow the instructions available on the Google website that will help you to create a new app in your developer console. Implement a client that retrieves the last data uploaded by the Arduino system. For example, you can choose a web client based on HTML5 and JavaScript or an Android client for your smartphone. See these websites if you need to get the code. Enjoy your application. Now you can think about the extensions you can include. For example, incorporating additional sensors and actuators that can be connected to the same device. Replacing the Arduino Wi-Fi shield by the Arduino Ethernet shield. Modifying and existing the shared information. Writing apps for different devices. In conclusion, we can say that combining IoT and cloud computing paradigms has multiple advantages in the context of information technology business. Using Google Cloud tools means apps can be extended with interesting features, including those related to data security. In addition, scalability is easy. The designers can design the data format. This format can be properly extended and modified if necessary. And new sensors and actuators can be easily included.